and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Here we are with Jerry Belmontes out of Corpus Christi. Um, you just got some hard sparring in with, with Ricky Burns, and um, you start. You saying you're starting hard, hard camp next month, next week. Um, so you have a fight coming up in June. So can you tell us a little bit about that. Um, he's a Canadian dude. Uh, I think he's 20 wins with one loss. One he lost was to Lamont Peterson. Uh, he's an NABF champion, a lightweight. Um, that's basically what I know about him right now. And you seem to take tough fight after tough fight. Do you feel like you don't have that luxury to really pick and choose like some other guys do in the sport? Well, I mean, I did earn my early career, but I mean, I, that wasn't me. I want to fight the tougher fighters out there to be named the number one champion and the WBC champion or any kind of champion. And you had three setbacks recently, but um, well, what's the immediate goal as far as where you want to where you want to rebound? I'll uh, just get back to uh, where I used to do box. Uh, quick movement, uh, hand speed, uh, quick jabs, ladder movement, angles, and uh, back back with my dad. All right, and in the past, it seems like, you know, your defensive prowess was there. It just seemed like you needed to let your hands go a little bit more. Is this something that y'all also saw, um, you know, speaking on strategy? Yeah, I mean, if, if you saw what today, uh, sparring, uh, that's exactly what I did. Um, I slipped some punches, took some punches to give some punches, and that's something we worked on. All right, switching gears here, you know, you sparred Ricky Burns, who has a uh, uh, an old foe of yours, a rival in Omar Figueroa. What do you think he needs to do to win the fight? Uh, just keep doing what he's doing right now. Boxing, working the jab, and that right uppercut whenever uh, Omar comes in. Uh, and many of us had you beating Omar when y'all fought. Do you feel like Burns is kind of at the same um, disadvantage as far as the politics and maybe he's already down on the cards? Uh, he might be. He's fighting in his hometown. But, uh, I mean, this is boxing. Um, anything can happen. All right, and how, how do you see the fight playing out? Uh, to be honest, if if it goes to the decision, I think Ricky Burns would, would take it the, the way he's fighting. But if someone's getting knocked out, it's going to be uh, uh, Ricky Burns getting knocked out. All right, and say you rebound in June um, and Styles make fights and you have the uh, style, the trouble in Omar, would you want to settle the score with your old Texas rival? Oh, of course I would. Uh, just let me get another win, and after this I'll move up to 140 or wherever way he wants to fight at. All right, switching gears again back to your brother. Um, he just got signed with GH3, and um, what has it been like for you seeing your little brother kind of come up and follow in your footsteps into his pro career? Oh, man, I'm very happy for him, very proud of him. Uh, he just put the hard work in the gym and uh, let it show on May 22nd. Yeah, you, and you had your ups and downs in your career. Uh, what do you think you can pass down to teach him, uh, seeing that he's young and coming up with this new promotion? Just, just be him. Don't try to be someone who other people want you to be. Just keep doing what he's doing. And, you know, both of y'all are, are in camp for your, your own uh, separate fights, man. What's that like preparing together side by side uh, for, for these fights coming up in June and in uh, his in May? Oh, it's hard work. I mean, I'm pushing him. He's pushing me. Um, but so, I mean, this is not the first time we've been in training camp with each other. This is the, um, like our fourth time, actually. But, I mean, we just push each other, and it's, it's exciting to see my brother um, come up from the amateurs to the pros. And your brother has a pleasing style, and he, has, he wears his heart on his sleeve sometimes in the ring. Um, but he only has one fight, so how would you describe him to somebody who hasn't seen him fight yet? Uh, he's a counterpuncher, he's a boxer, he's a slugger. I mean, he's everything. He, he has movement. The uh, only thing we need to work on is his jabs. That's it, just a little more jabs. All right, and on to your fight in June in, uh, you know, in, in, in Canada. Uh, what will we see out of Jerry Belmontes um, come June? Uh, June 18th. 18th. Uh, you're going to see movement, um, hand speed. Uh, and they're throwing a lot of punches. Guarantee it. All right, man. Well, good luck, man. I appreciate the time. Uh, any last words you want to get off your chest? Anything? Any shout outs you want to give out? Nah, just a um, big shout out to everybody in Corpus. Um, thank y'all for, for supporting me. Uh, I'm not going to disappoint y'all. Promise you. All right, I appreciate it. We'll definitely tune in. Jerry Belmontes, Rod, signing out.